Hey, what's up, guys? Good morning. We are on the way to the airport right now. We're headed to Japan, which has been closed for two and a half years. Yeah, they've had some of the most strict COVID regulations in the world. They are literally opening today, so I'm hoping everything goes to plan. We had to do some paperwork and stuff, but I think we did it correctly. I guess we'll find out right now. Yeah. All right, let's go. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Aloha. Everyone's going to Japan today. I know. <laughs> Zip Air is like the pettiest airline ever. They give you seven kilos and they're very strict about it. I mean, I'm literally wearing stuff like in my pants to like <laughs> get the weight. We still had 20 kilos shy of the total allotment that oh, we Oh yeah, purchased. I know, we bought extra luggage and they were like, no, you can't carry it on. It can only be in the back. Yeah, it's it's pretty silly and our camera equipment said that they'll let you wear it, but <laughs> it's just gonna go straight back in the bag. It's so weird. We actually made it. I'm, I'm actually really excited about it. They are super strict about all the COVID checks. There was like a fleet of people waiting. They checked your cards like oh, a again. dozen times, yeah, a dozen again, times. again and again and again and again. So be ready for that. Walking in was a little shocking. They didn't allow photos or anything that whole strip. Now we're gonna try to go find our Airbnb in Tokyo. You, you remember how to use a Japanese rail? No, not at all. I don't either. <laughs> People here are so helpful. We only had a couple minutes to catch our train and we kept walking. They were like, wait, stop, you're walking the wrong way. And pointed us in the right direction. Very nice of them. I read online that they were kind of expecting like a really big influx of tourists. It's totally empty. It's a little weird. That family mart. Oh my gosh. For us, it's like almost kind of homey feeling to be in Japan because in Hawaii, it's like half Japan. Like tons of Japanese stores, products, everything. So it's like nice to have a lot of the same products we're kind of used to. It's less than a dollar for o Oocha. <laughs> Alan really likes o Oocha tea. Show it off, show it off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a it's good It's super stuff. good. It is really good. Should be really close. Let me pull up the directions. Oh, we look terrible. <laughs> we just made it to our Airbnb. It's still 20 minutes to check in, so we're gonna um, snack. snack on our family mutt purchase. This whole bag of groceries, two fried chickens, and two teas. This 704 yen, which is like. No, no, just a little under six bucks now, I think. This is Oocha tea. It's, Alan loves it. Yeah, it's like green tea, but smokier and more bitter. Sort of almost like black tea, but. It's really good. They uh, sell it in the States, but it's really expensive there. Here it was like a buck something. This is matcha. a, like some sort of matcha tea. It's a little sweet. 
but it's really good. It's almost creamy tasting. Yeah, it's awesome. It's really delicious. It's like this sweet like grass the, flavor. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only place I'll drink green tea, really, is Japan. They just do it so right. Chicken was old too. Mm, it was old. Yeah. It's so good when it's fresh, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> the mm. flavor. So in Japan, you do not wear shoes in the house. They're very clean. And a lot of places will provide slippers to you. All right, are you guys ready for the complete room tour? This is it. It's, it's really small. <laughs> It's actually like a decent sized Tokyo apartment. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's really not. One, it's in a neighborhood that's just outside of Akihabara, which is probably like the neighborhood you've heard of. It's kind of like that video game anime type spot. Not much to it. Not much to it. We have a little here. Let's, let's do the actual room tour. This is our bed, which is about two feet from our sitting area, which is like a luxury in Tokyo. I don't know if you guys know, but the apartments here are just super, super tiny. It's just kind of how they do. We have a little sink and a shower room and a cooking area. Fridge, which is nice, hot plate. That'll be handy to have. And the toilet is in the hallway for some reason. What? There's a sink above the toilet that you wash your hands in and that flushes into the toilet. What a trip. Overall, pretty pleased with this Airbnb so far. It seems like it'll be quiet and for Tokyo, it's actually a decent size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna get settled in here, maybe clean up because we're all airport gross and probably go out for dinner or something, yeah. Loving it so far. It's really quiet. A lot of stuff is closed. I don't know if that's because of the day and time, but I don't think so. It just seems like a lot of stuff is closed. And there's just a nice vibe going on right now. There's like all this little rain. It's kind of cool, but not too cold. On this old street, I'm assuming in the tourist district. I'm stoked. <laughs> So in Japan, you can do like these little talismans. You leave, I guess, at the temples, little prayers, and you buy them, and then you know pray on them. And it's it's pretty funny because they have like so each one's like a prayer of what you want, wish it to come true, ward off evil, relationship, pass exams. Pass exams. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> It's like a perfect Japanese curry with a little bit of like a bonito flavor. Mm. I think it's kind of rude to be like a lot of restaurants here, so I'm going to be kind of quiet. I got some sort of like cold noodle udon. Mmm, but it's delicious. It's fishy. Bonito. And vegetables. And I think this might be daikon. Very farty. Let's Look walk. at that moray. Oh, dang, that's a big boy in there. 
Isn't it so weird that they just keep fish tank shots so fun on the street? Yeah. Look at that eel. He's huge. This is my favorite store in Japan. This is Don Quixote. And if you can't tell, it's just kind of like hectic and it has stuff like everywhere. It's all sorts of food. They have makeup, house products, random other things, toys, belonging costumes, they have everything. And I just, I don't know, I love it. It makes me think of Hawaii, it makes me think of here. And uh, we need to pick up a few things and head out. Origami Starbucks. It's very stimulating to be here. I actually might get that ditto at some point. That's a tempting, oh, and it has Psyduck. Oh, that one's cute too, Alan. Groceries are super cheap in Japan. While the rest of the world's been having problems with inflation, they've had almost none. And the exchange rate is at a 24 year low, which means all of this was $19.38 US. Which still isn't even the cheapest in the world, but compared to Hawaii, I don't think you would have walked out of the store under 80 bucks for that, probably more. Fresh meat, fresh mushrooms, fresh vegetables. No way. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Today was super fun, but we want to go get cleaned up. All right, see ya, bye.